how's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Corner here, and I know it's been a week since I last uploaded a YouTube video. YouTube's been really weird right now. It wouldn't upload my, my videos when I want them to be uploaded. But, I'm finally back. I hope you guys were patient. But, guess what? Today, we're going to be doing a team analysis for Season 2, Week 1 for the Indigo League of Legends. If you're not familiar with what this is all about. Well, it's a Pokemon-based fantasy league that I'm part of and the Skype conversation group that I'm in. The Indigo League of Legends encourages trainers to draft 12 Pokemon and you battle against those other people that are part of the league. And then, after the league is over, you go to the playoffs. You might have noticed I did upload a couple of matches from the Indigo League of Legends last spring, but that wasn't so well. Like, if you didn't watch my videos, it didn't do so well, but if you have, I was part of the Human Loss in Sam Ross, where I did not win a single game because I drafted some very weak Pokemon. So, when the creator of the ILL was announcing a Season 2, I wanted to sign up for it, and I was able to be part of Season 2. I'm part of the San Francisco Swamperts this year, and I'm really happy about that. Of course, I was... You're supposed to draft uh, 12 Pokemon, like I said, and you can pick as many Mega Pokemon as you want, but you can only pick one Mega per battle to battle with. Wow, that was a great sentence. I mean, you can draft as many Mega Pokemon as you want, but only one Mega can participate in a match. There we go. And so my Mega pick was Mega Gengar, and that's also my Uber pick, which is the stronger Pokemon tier. And I picked up Calflame, Ferrothorn, and Kieran Black as my OU picks. Mian Shao, Kukugao, and Flygon were my UU picks, the underused here. And the lower tier Pokemon Gastrodon, Ditto, Avalug, and Wigglytuff Behem, those were the lower class Pokemon that shows. And if you're not familiar, I was actually the first person who got we had our draft day last Sunday, so really happy to be choosing the first Pokemon to start off the draft. And when I envisioned having a really strong team, and by the looks of it, I think I have a very much, a much stronger team than last season. I have Talonflame, I have Ferrothorn, I have Mega Gengar, so I have a lot of Pokemon that are going to be using a lot of offensive pressure alongside Ferrothorn with Avila 2 and Gastagon with my, or my defensive walls. I actually bred a different Ferrothorn. I, it's a good idea to train two or three different Pokemon so that you can fool your opponent into thinking, hey, I know this set, but then you're like, yeah, guess what, this is a different Mega Gengar set that you're expecting. This is a different town frame. So it's a good idea to train different types of Pokemon there. Uh, my opponent this week is the Green Bay Pachirisu, or Mac, who is the creator of the ILL, or the Indigo League of Legends. He's packing a Mega Metagross, a Clefable, a Mega Mawile. Again, you can draft as many Megas as you want, but only one can participate in a match. So he has two Megas. He has a Langer, a Form, Clefable, like I already said. High Dragon, Suicune, Tangrowth, Scrafty, Golem, Slowking, and Rotom Moform. So, he has a very powerful team, but I feel confident with the Pokemon that I have. I I think we can do this okay. The, the main threats I have to be wary of are going to probably be Mega Megacross, Mega Mawile. It could be either one of those. I would probably say the biggest threat would be Mega Megacross because it's really fast. And it, yeah, yeah, it's really fast and it's really powerful. Mega Mawile is also a consideration as a threat because of huge power. So if I had to choose, it's hard to decide at this point, but I, I see Mega Metagross being his Mega for our battle, which, by the way, our official battle began earlier this week, and the actual battle will be up next week. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, so... 
yeah, I see Mega Megalos coming. In addition, I feel like I feel like Clefable and Langerus theory and form are coming. Then theory and form Langerus has access to an academy. I do have a lot of physical attackers and all that. I see Clefable because I you know Mega Gengar is like the only Pokemon that can hit fairy type fairy type Pokemon. And my offensive fair form is also an idea there, but of course Clefable has access to Flamethrower, which is four times weak to Ferrothorn. So I see Clefable being an option for him. So I see Mega Maragross, Clefable, Langer a certain form. I also think that High Dragon will be coming too. But that's where I could Utilize my man shell as a scarfer and high jump kick that thing in the face unless the high drag on a scarf and we're speed tied and he wins. Slow King and Rokel Mo for him or or Sweet King, Sweet King or 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 Slow King, wow, well, they they're very similar in spelling. Sweet King and Slow King, one of them are gonna be in the mash, I can feel that. Rokel Mo form is looking like a possibility. It can hit Talon Flame. But of course, Talon Flame is a fire cat, so I don't know. It, it's hard to decide on that. But I know, I do know that that Sweeping or Smoking are going to be in there. Uh, Shiftery. Shiftery is a Pokemon that I haven't really faced that much, and I feel like it's going to use Knock Off or Fake Out, possibly Leaf Storm or Drain Punch. It could be either physically or specially oriented. But I feel like the Shiftery is going to when you utilize knockoff and all that. And I think Golem can set up entry hazards. So, you know, th these are my ideas of what Pokemon is going to bring towards our battle. From my side, I'm going to pick Mega Gengar for sure. Because that's a Mega and that's my Uber pick. I can hit almost everything for some damage. And I will also bring Talonflame for Gale Wings support. Ferrothorn, I'm actually going to hopefully bring my offensive Ferrothorn to probably disguise my opponent into thinking that it is a defensive variant. I have a look there for Rapid Spin support, so if I have to deal with Golem setting up entry hazards, I can go with Rapid Spin to get rid of those entry hazards. I might bring Gastrodon for this too. Gastrodon is a physical wall and also a special wall and it can use Skull to burn a few things to cut their attacking power down, especially Megacross or Mawile. And to a lesser extent Langer is certain form. I feel like Mian Shao is a good idea here too because of Scarf. I can use High Jump Kick to, hi to hit High Dragon. I can hit Scrafty, I can hit Golem. So we have three, three things we can manage out. And I could bring Ditto to transform Langerus or Metagross, but you know, it's, it's just, I don't think it's a good idea for this battle. Maybe next week I will use Ditto. I will hopefully bring Karen Black some other time. I don't think Karen Black will work this battle because of Mega Mawile. So I'm going to pick Mega Gengar. Mian, Shao, Gastrodon, Avalug, Ferrothorn, and what else am I missing? I'll probably bring Wigglytuff too. Yeah, those are the six I can bring. And you might see me adjust my team a little bit because I might I might make last minute changes, but those are the Pokemon that I might be bringing for week one against Mac or the Green Bay Pashirisu. All right, everyone. So that's my analysis for week one of the Indigo League of Legends. If you want to be familiar with this, check out season one in my playlist on my channel to see how terrible I was in that season. But, you know, you can just get an idea of what this league is all about. And I feel confident that I will be a better team this year with the San Francisco Swampers. And that I will be a force to be reckoned with when we're battling through Season 2. Alright everyone, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. And look forward to our official battle that will be up next Wednesday on the Indigo League of Legends official YouTube page as well as my side of the battle on my own YouTube channel. 
All right, trainers, have a great day, and I will see you on the battlefield for week one of the Inugo League of Legends.